This is the K Asian Beauty, a ship so large, so heavy, and so strangely underestimated that most people who watch it glide into a harbor have no idea they're witnessing a moving steel city, 604 feet long, 100 feet wide, 13 decks tall, the size of two football fields stacked on top of a 12-story building and pushed across the Pacific by a single engine producing 14,000 horsepower. It doesn't carry passengers. It doesn't carry containers. It carries cars, thousands of them. SUVs, pickup trucks, luxury sedans, even prototypes nobody outside the factory has ever seen. Inside its steel walls, it's not a ship. It's a floating garage. But the real story doesn't begin at sea. It begins the moment the K-Asian beauty appears on the horizon after a 14-day journey from South Korea. And an entire American harbor suddenly transforms into a high security zone. Tugboats scramble, harbor pilots suit up, border control assembles, inspectors, environmental teams, immigration officers, and customs agents all converge at once. Because when a 20,000-ton steel tower drifts into port carrying nearly 7,000 vehicles, the smallest mistake, a wrong turn, a missing document, a single unsecured SUV can turn into a multi-million dollar disaster. Today you're about to see exactly what really happens. After two weeks at sea, the K-Asian beauty doesn't enter San Diego Harbor. It announces itself. The harbor pilot boat races toward it first. Only a licensed pilot, someone who knows every sandbar, tide shift, and underwater obstruction in the bay, is allowed to take control for the final stretch. From a distance, the ship looks slow. Up close, it feels like a skyscraper drifting toward you. 100,000 tons of steel displacing millions of gallons of water with every turn of its propeller. This is where everything becomes a choreography. Three tugboats peel away from the pier, one at the bow, one at the stern, and one waiting like a referee along the side. They don't pull the ship, they push it, gently, precisely. Docking the quay, Asian beauty isn't parking a ship, it's a mathematical event. Every factor matters. Wind direction, tidal height, harbor traffic, the ship's momentum, even how many cars are on each deck. Because a ship this size doesn't stop, it coasts. A full-speed emergency stop would still send it sliding the length of a football field. As the tugs push and angle the hull, the harbor pilot calls out commands measured in inches. Bow two feet starboard, stern one foot port side, and on the pier, long rubber fenders, each the size of a minivan, wait to absorb the ship's final approach like padded shock absorbers. When the hull touches them, you don't hear a clang. You hear a low, heavy sigh of steel meeting rubber. Only then do the mooring lines fly. Massive ropes, thick as a man's torso, are launched onto shore and looped around steel bollards set deep into the pier. A ship carrying nearly 7,000 vehicles is now held steady. Once the ship is secured, the real marvel isn't the size of the vessel, it's what's inside. The K-Asian beauty is not built like a normal cargo ship. It's a row-row carrier, roll-on, roll-off, a massive steel parking structure with up to 13 decks, some fixed, some adjustable, all engineered to hold thousands of vehicles with only inches to spare. Walking inside feels like entering an underground parking garage the size of a neighborhood. The air is cool. The lights are dim. The sound is a constant echo of metal expanding and contracting after two weeks at sea. Each deck has a purpose. Lower decks hold compact cars. Mid-level decks house sedans and SUVs. Upper decks store oversized machines, luxury models, or tall commercial vehicles. Some decks move move up and down like giant hydraulic floors, making space for taller cargo. The crew can literally reshape the building depending on what's being transported. But here's the hidden truth. Even a single unsafely loaded vehicle can threaten the entire ship. One SUV shifting just a few inches in rough waters can throw off the ship's balance. And when your cargo weighs thousands of tons, imbalance becomes a disaster. Inside this steel labyrinth, every car is tied down with industrial lashings, mounted to deck rings welded into the floor, and secured with wheel chocks that prevent even the slightest movement. This floating garage is more than storage. It's a meticulously engineered environment. 
environment where one mistake can sink $300 million worth of machinery. The moment the K-Asian beauty finishes docking, the calm of the harbor ends instantly before a single car rolls off the ship. Before the crew even steps onto the pier, border patrol teams swarm the vessel like a tactical unit. These officers aren't just checking passports, they're investigating everything. For them, this isn't a ship full of cars. It's a potential gateway for smuggling, trafficking, and environmental violations. First, the paperwork interrogation. They start with the ship's manifest, a document thicker than a phone book. It lists every vehicle on board, its VIN number, its destination, its weight, its exact loading position, the personnel who loaded it, and even the serial numbers of specialized cargo. A single discrepancy, one missing car, one incorrect timestamp, is enough to halt the entire operation. Next, a full ship walkthrough. Teams fan out like detectives in a crime scene, down the vehicle decks, through equipment rooms, into crew quarters, even into ventilation shafts. They check compartments where contraband could be hidden, places smugglers have used before. And yes, this happens more often than people think. In 2015, firearms and drugs were found inside the tires of three military vehicles on another carrier ship. Border Control never forgot that case. Then, passenger verification cargo ships rarely travel with unauthorized people, but when they do, it's almost always dangerous. Immigration officers question every crew member, checking identity documents, work permits, maritime labor contracts, past travel histories. They look for trafficking, exploitation, or stowaways hiding below deck. It sounds rare, until you learn that dozens of cases appear every year across global ports. Finally, environmental inspection, because one of the biggest threats isn't smuggling, it's pollution. Officers inspect fuel tanks, waste storage, sewage systems, garbage disposal logs. They look for illegal dumping because one mistake could contaminate an entire coastline. By the time they're done, hours have passed. The crew is exhausted. The engines are silent. But only now does the ship earn the right to unload a single car. Once Border Patrol gives the green light, the K-Asian beauty finally exhales. For two weeks, it carried nearly 7,000 vehicles across the Pacific. Now, every single one of them has to touch American soil, without a scratch, without a delay, and without a single mistake. This isn't unloading. This is a military-level evacuation of cars. The ramp drops, and the clock starts. The first ramp lowers, creaking under its own weight, a structure capable of supporting 150 tons, strong enough for buses, trucks, and heavy machinery. The moment it hits the pier, a wave of drivers rushes in. They're not regular workers, they're specially trained vehicle handlers, people who can park a truck with only inches of space on both sides, in hallways narrower than some elevators. The K-Asian beauty isn't a ship, it's a vertical parking garage with 13 decks, each one designed like a puzzle. Adjustable decks raise or lower, depending on cargo height. Wide decks handle trucks and SUVs. Lower decks fit sedans with almost no headroom. Center decks store the heaviest EVs and vans for perfect balance. Every inch is planned months before the ship even leaves port. The order of the unload, there is no freestyle. There is no just drive it off. Everything follows a strict order. Top floors first, to prevent weight shifts. Heaviest vehicles next, to stabilize the hull. Final decks last, the compact cars and leftovers. A single vehicle in the wrong place can change the ship's center of gravity and make the entire vessel tilt. The MV Golden Ray capsized from this exact mistake. The drivers move like surgeons. Inside the ship is a maze of tight ramps, low ceilings, sharp turns, blind corners. Drivers crawl forward at walking speed, hands on the wheel, eyes glued to spotters guiding them with hand signals. One wrong tap on the accelerator, one misjudged angle, and a $150,000 SUV UV ends up scraping against steel walls. And here's the kicker, temperatures inside can reach over 100 degrees because thousands of engines are running inside a closed metal box. Ventilation systems work over time just to keep the air breathable. The outside team goes to work as each car rolls down to the dock. Tires are inspected, VIN numbers scanned, damage reports recorded, customs tags attached. Nothing is left to chance. One dent means hours of paperwork, one mismatch in documents.
documentation means halting the entire line. This process repeats car after car, row after row, deck after deck. For nearly 7,000 vehicles, this takes an entire day, sometimes two. By the time the last car touches the ground, the ship looks empty. But the real work of securing, documenting, and transporting those thousands of vehicles is only just beginning. Most people see a car carrier as a giant floating parking lot. But to the crews who operate them, these ships are ticking time bombs if something goes even slightly wrong. Because the K-Asian beauty isn't just carrying vehicles, it's carrying 7,000 potential hazards, fuel tanks, batteries, oils, electronics, and thousands of moving parts tightly packed in steel corridors. And one mistake, just one, can trigger a disaster big enough to make global headlines. The Fire Nightmare Car carriers fear one thing more than anything else. Fire. Why? Because fire spreads vertically, and this ship is basically a stack of 13 steel boxes filled with gasoline and lithium batteries. If one car catches fire, it can jump to the next row in under a minute. Inside a closed deck, that becomes a runaway inferno. This is why the K-Asian Beauty's decks are armed with automated CO2 flood systems. High-pressure water mist lines. Heat sensors every few meters. Emergency foam suppression. The crew trains for this constantly. To them, if anyone doubts how dangerous car carriers can be, they only need to look at the MV Golden Ray, a massive 200-meter vessel that turned from a fully operational ship into a sideways burning steel coffin in less than 60 seconds. This is the nightmare scenario every captain studies because the Golden Ray didn't sink due to a storm, pirates, or a collision. It capsized because of one thing, its own weight. How it happened on September 8th, 2019, the Golden Ray began its departure from Brunswick, Georgia, carrying more than 4 out 200 brand new vehicles. When the MV Golden Ray capsized, rescuers didn't just face a sinking ship, they faced a floating environmental catastrophe packed with thousands of cars, chemicals, and 24 massive fuel tanks. Leaving it in the water wasn't an option. Dragging it out in one piece was impossible, so engineers decided to do the unthinkable, cut the entire ship into eight enormous slices, like a steel wedding cake. The VB-10,000, the machine built to lift a city. To do this, the salvage team brought in a monster, the VB-10 Thide, a twin-hulled, 255-foot-tall heavy-lift vessel so powerful that it can hoist up to 7,500 tons in one lift. This wasn't just a crane, it was an engineering superweapon. Steel chains embedded with industrial diamonds were lowered around the golden Ray's hull. These chains acted like gigantic saws, slowly grinding through inches of steel, mangled cars, fuel tanks, and debris, all while underwater. Each cut released explosions of steam, sparks, and toxic fumes. Firefighters and hazmat teams stood ready every second. One wrong vibration, one pocket of trapped fuel, and the entire wreck could ignite like a bomb. The environmental time bomb. Inside the wreck were thousands of gas gallons of engine oil, coolant, transmission fluids, lithium batteries, plastic panels, fuel, residue from hundreds of cars, all waiting to leak. Booms and barriers surrounded the wreck for two full years, with crews skimming oils daily and capturing debris before it drifted into protected marshlands. Environmental teams tracked marine life, tested water samples, and monitored oxygen levels, because a single mistake here could destroy destroy the Georgia coastline for decades. The cost of failure. By the time the final section was lifted away, the Golden Ray had become one of the most expensive shipwrecks in U.S. history. Over $1 billion in salvage and cleanup, thousands of tons of shredded steel, and a permanent case study in maritime colleges. The lesson was simple but brutal. A car carrier cannot afford even one mistake. Not in ballast, not in cargo weight, not in stability. Ever. The the story of the MV Golden Ray didn't just shock the shipping industry, it rewired it. Because if a single miscalculation could flip a 20,000-ton vessel, then every car carrier in the world, including giants like the K-Asian Beauty, had to evolve fast. The New Rules of Survival Today, a ship of the K-Asian Beauty's size follows procedures so strict they make aircraft safety look relaxed. Every part of the operation is now triple verified. 1. Ballast water 
is treated like nuclear fuel. Ships can't afford uneven weight, not even by a few inches. Modern carriers now use automated ballast computers, real-time stability sensors, angle detection alarms, satellite-linked tracking of weight distribution. If the ship tilts even half a degree, alarms go off and the bridge reacts instantly. The Golden Ray tilted for minutes. A modern ship wouldn't survive seconds. 2. Cargo securing is now a science. Before 2019, lashing straps and wheel chocks were standard. After 2019, they became mission critical. Carriers now recalculate weight distribution for every single voyage. Lash heavy vehicles with military-grade tension chains. Add more cross straps for EVs. Use anti-slip deck coatings with higher friction ratings. Assign inspectors to check every single car manually. If one truck or SUV is loose, the entire ship is at risk. One bad strap can flip a billion-dollar vessel. 3. Crew training got an upgrade car carrier. Crews now undergo capsize simulation training, ballast emergency drills, rapid load engineering courses, hazmat certification. Instead of simply being sailors, they're trained like aviation engineers. Modern car carriers don't just need captains, they need mathematicians, mechanics, and crisis managers. 4. Ports modernized their playbook. After Golden Ray, ports adjusted to dockside stability checks, ballast audits before departure, vehicle scan logs, ram, angle inspections, real-time load monitoring. Ports now have the power to stop a vessel from leaving if even one deck is unbalanced. Leaving port is no longer a formality. It's a certification process. What this means for the K-Asian beauty, for a ship that carries nearly 7,000 vehicles, these new rules aren't just guidelines, they're survival. The K-Asian beauty now operates under a system where every movement is calculated, every vehicle is documented, every deck is stabilized, every gallon of ballast water is monitored, every ramp angle is measured, every chain is tension tested. Because the shipping world now knows, a car carrier does not get a second chance. When it fails, it fails completely. The real takeaway, the MV Golden Ray wasn't just a disaster, it was a warning. A warning that physics doesn't care about experience or routine or confidence. Ships the size of skyscrapers balance on a knife's edge. Today, giants like the K-Asian beauty move across oceans safely not because they're strong, but because they're precise. Every calculation, every container, every vehicle, every drop of ballast has to be perfect. Because unlike other industries in shipping, and so when the K-Asian beauty finally pulls away from the harbor, its engines rumbling like a steel giant waking from sleep, there's something almost poetic about it. Most people watching from the pier see a ship, a floating parking garage carrying thousands of cars. But behind that steel wall is a world of precision, pressure, engineering, and absolute trust. A world where one loose strap can tip a vessel, where one wrong ballast adjustment can rewrite headlines, where one missed checklist item can trigger a billion-dollar disaster. Every voyage this ship completes is nothing short of a quiet miracle, a perfectly synchronized ballet of human skill and mechanical power crossing oceans without faltering. And the next time a brand new car rolls onto a dealership lot, shiny, untouched, smelling of fresh leather, you'll know it didn't arrive easily. It crossed storms, passed inspections, survived the scrutiny of border control. One mistake doesn't cause a delay, it causes a disaster. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe.